I know what you're thinking. Jenna, your face is terrifying. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to get past it for a minute, okay? So I've seen a couple of these videos in the beauty community. If you couldn't tell, I am seriously like down this rabbit hole and I can't get out. Like you guys are entertaining the fuck out of me. I wanna join on the fun. I wanna be part of your beautiful people club. What the fuck? I've seen a couple of these videos done where girls recreate how they did their makeup in high school. And I wore very limited makeup almost all the time because A, you've met the Debbie machine. She's not exactly a glamour puss, okay? So I didn't learn anything from her. B, YouTube didn't exist until halfway through college for me. So it's not like I could just go educate myself on how to do my makeup, okay? My exposure to it was I had two books and I looked at the pictures and they were all completely unwearable for a 15 year old, etc. So I was left to fend for myself and no one around me really wore any makeup. And also, I was an athlete, so it seemed a little ridiculous to put on a full face of makeup and then go play a sport later. So I wanted to walk you through all of my makeup experiences and looks, starting from when I was a young kid all the way through to like college-ish, until then I started being on the internet, which you're all familiar with that dark smoky eye, baby pink lip all day every day for no reason. This video would be incredibly interesting if I was like a goth or a scene kid, but I'm sorry to disappoint you. I was not. I was actually like one of the most unmemorable people ever. Like I can't stress enough that it kills me when I see these nine-year-olds with like their naked palettes crafting perfect little smoky eyes. Like what the fuck? I just had no information at all. I'm ready to show you the cringe because the cringe is so real. So here we go. I remember my first experience with makeup going something like the following. I was maybe eight years old or so and I was at my dad's house. And I think my stepmom had given me a little Clinique lipstick that was like a bright cherry red color, you know, to play like dress up and stuff. So one day I was in my room and I put it on and didn't realize that a giant slice of it had gotten all over my white turtleneck. And then I walked around with it on and got it all over everything. So I didn't exactly start off on a good foot. This was look number one. It's pretty good looking if you ask me. So my second experience with makeup was one time when I was in about fifth grade I thought my mom had gone to work already, but she hadn't. So I put on some bright blue eyeshadow and some pink lipstick and pink blush. And I was gonna go catch the bus like that. And I was not allowed to wear makeup. So my mom wakes up out of her room and she goes, Jenna, what's on your face? And I was like, mom, it's not a big deal, okay? I'm in fifth grade now and I'm trying to get the boys to pay attention to me. This is the way I'm gonna do it. Why are you cock blocking me, mom? She was like, I'm taking you to school. I was like, so I wiped off all the makeup, we get in the car, we go to school, and I go to the bathroom because I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna smuggle in this pink lipstick and this blue eyeshadow, I'm gonna put it on when I get there. No, I get like halfway through, my mom bursts in the fifth grade bathroom door and says, Jenna, I said wipe it off. And I was like, Holy shit, my mom followed me to school. <laughs> Fuck, I mean, she had good reason. I looked ridiculous. I'll recreate that look for you. Explain? I'm doing something, okay? It was a good plan. Moral of the story is moms are cock blocks. Don't you forget it. So middle school is where it started to get interesting because I got braces. I was allowed to wear eyeliner and a little mascara to draw attention away from my braces, which is infallible logic. I'm still proud of it. So I can't recreate my braces, but what I do have is my retainer. I'm not gonna suck What? <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> it hurts! You're late for second period. <laughs> So, oh my god, if you can imagine this, but like braces. First things first, I always had a middle part, <laughs> but I would just like blow dry it so it came out to this texture. My makeup consisted of a very pink looking foundation and the same color pressed powder. This looks pretty similar to the one that I used to have, which means that CoverGirl hasn't changed their formula for a lot of their foundations in like 20 years. Just a conspiracy. I would never use any brushes or sponges. I would just let my hands do the Picasso sewing all over my face. And I would take the poof provided for me and I would just set it. Oh God, it doesn't smell good. I thought I was like a real lady because I would put this in my backpack and bring it to school with me, you know? Oh, where's my compact? I need to touch up my powder. So then I would take sometimes black, but a lot of times a navy blue eyeliner and I would put it in my waterline and like directly under my eye. Oh hell yeah. And this was like been around since I was a kid. It was this. I would use this just on my top lash. No curler, none of that. Just some straight up clear lip gloss. And that was like my entire makeup look. No blush, no bronzer, no
no eyebrows. No, like, anything other than foundation and eyeliner and mascara. And I was like, girl, I'm ready. Other important things for this look. Chokers. Not cute ones like they have now. Shitty ones. Like actual little friendship bracelets or beads. Or I would fuck up some shells. Like something like that. And my choices for hair were the following. This or one of these had... Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Do you know how much redder my face is than my neck? This is middle school. <laughs> I can't even find the headbands anymore. It's like, does this to your hair, but it's stretchy. I'll give you the effect. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> my mom had no shortage of these fucking things in her room that I would go in there and steal and relentlessly try to figure out how to use. And I would watch her do it and I'm like, bitch, what is that? This was a choice. Look how beautiful it is. These were also a choice and one of my personal favorites. And if I couldn't find these clips, I would just use body pins and then they would slide down but I thought it was a good look. Also, this was another look. The little baby clips. Hold on. Oh, you see that? Oh, the functionality. You have so many choices. You could wear your hair up. You could wear it down. You could move around. Look at all this freedom. Your hair's off your face. It looks adorable. Everyone's like, I love your clips. And you're like, thank you so much. Easy breezy seventh grade. You know what I'm saying? Also, sometimes if I just wanted to mix things up, you know, keep things exciting, I would put on some blue mascara just on the top. I mean, you can can't really see that, but you know what it achieves. Beautifulness. One of my favorite hairstyles is when you just pull these pieces out and then you could like clip back this part or like just leave it like that, but make sure that these pieces are out. I'm pretty sure in my sixth or seventh grade yearbook picture, I have this going on exactly. I'm like, mom, where's my clarinet? Mom, we're out of pizza nuggets. And I would always smile like this in pictures. Like every picture of me for like four years was like this. Or like this, if I was like laughing and couldn't control it, I'd be like, ha, ha. Because I never wanted to show my braces. I would ride a bus like this. My celebrity crushes were Carson Daly and Justin Timberlake from NSYNC. I also like to listen to corn, and I would hang out with kids that skateboarded outside. But like, I had practice later, but like, I see you guys waiting for the bus. My favorite pair of pants were black corduroy pants. Anyways, this is what it looks like in middle school. And it's fire, literal fire. You're welcome for this tutorial. So then in high school, I also graduated to the point of wearing more than one choker at a time or wearing things that were not chokers as chokers. Like for example, this would be my choker and I would go to school like that and be like, fuck with me. This was also the first time I ever did a side part and I was like, what the fuck? You can do that to your hair? Remember, I'm also the same person that thought the people that didn't have bangs just cut them off at the root. So, I mean, this was news to me that you could part your hair on the side. Literally never thought of it before. And my hair was also in like a really short bob. Ooh, also, I was just reminded that this was a look. Remember this? I fucked with that sometimes. Same foundation and powder routine with nothing else on top of it because no one told me that that looked ridiculous. And I swear on my life, this is the exact same product that I had when I was in high school. I was like, you know what I wanna do is like a cat eye, but I don't know how. So step one is I'm just gonna squint at everybody. So all this light stuff would go here and then I would use every color. Like that's what I thought you're supposed to do. When you get like a palette of colors, you have to use every color in it. And I thought this cream eyeshadow was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my life. I was like, what the fuck? And I would do just like a little tiny brown liner. I was too scared to try black. I was nervous. It's a scary color. So this is what I looked like in high school. You know, minus blonde hair, it's brunette. It's got my driver's license. You wanna like, you wanna go to Wendy's or something? Again, no, nothing ever in my brows. It wasn't a thing. I didn't know it existed. I would also like to go to my friend's house. And she was like, hey, you wanna nair your stomach? And I was like, hell yeah. So we would like nair our stomachs and for no reason. Her stomach was like a little bit hairy, so I get it. But for me, I was just doing it to be a good friend, you know? But like, I looked like this when I did it. Also at her house, we went into her mom's room and her mom had this green foundation. And I was like, the fuck is that? And she was like, try it, it'll change your life. And I'm like, dude, fuck yeah, fuck me up with that. And I was like, I don't know, dude. It seems like you can kind of see all the green. And she was like, no, no. Now you bring makeup on top of it and then you can't see any of the red in your skin. And I was like, holy shit. And she was like, see, completely natural. Now no one can see the redness in your skin and your skin looks totally natural. And I was like, holy fuck, man, this is my new look. This is the new me. Welcome everyone to my new face. I mean, yeah, I did. I looked like this for a few days at school before someone was like, what the fuck is wrong with your face? I thought it was and I thought no one could tell. The foundation color was called mint. You don't like it? We need a call. <gasps> Are you calling me a ghost? <laughs> I was in the other room. Did you say don't cock block me mom? 
Yeah. <laughs> I sure did. Also in high school is when I started to get really into makeup and I got a couple of makeup books and I was like, this is incredible. Just didn't make any sense for me to have a bunch of makeup on. So the only time I could do it was in my room alone. And I was like, this is my dream. The first look that I ever created in my room by myself, just looking at a picture of some makeup looked like this. I wanna know what love is. And I thought to myself, finally, I can be my true self. It was on this day after this makeup look that I decided I wanted to be a makeup artist. So I promptly told my father who said, no. And I said, but it marked the moment when I finally felt like my true self could be free. When could I ever let her out? Like no one in my school wore makeup like this. How could I just go to school like this? I would get in trouble. I'm not allowed to wear this much makeup. Turns out there's a time and a place for everything. And the place for this is college. Because in college, on the weekends, I would look like this. You know, and it wasn't like a practice. People would be like, who the fuck are you? I'm like, dude, I just saw you yesterday at practice. It's Jenna. Fuck, you really don't remember me, dude. Fuck, I'm just so unmemorable. I still didn't know you could put things in your eyebrows until like 2009. Oh no. Uh... Hey, okay, that's a bloodbath. You should fix that. Bloodbath. It's not a bloodbath. It just won't go in right now. I do that too. I like face paint and stuff. I like parties. I ain't got time to do a raccoon once. I'm not a raccoon. This was a look. I also had a really bad habit of making all of my winged looks completely straight out like like almost down until I realized that it gave me sad eye What happens when we put them all together? Why don't people wear these clips anymore? These are fucking dope. Oh, that's that's hot We got finals tomorrow, but I don't go here. I, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> so just your finals tomorrow. Are you calling me a garbage lady? <laughs> Also, what day is garbage day? I need to go work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you like this video. Um, I know that these looks aren't like too intense because I really didn't wear a lot of makeup when I was younger, but they were ridiculous. And I did like them a lot. For any of you that lived through the 90s, I hope this just hit you right in your sentimentalness. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. Damn all of you middle schoolers with your Kylie lip kits and your fucking super nice looking eyes. Eyebrows. It's not fair, okay? We had to look like this. See you guys next week though. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Excuse me, garbage lady. No stink eye. It's a cat eye. <laughs>